Hey, well, hello. Snag Proof just came out with some lures that are really cool. They are soft bodied lures built similar to a frog, but in traditional topwater formats that you're used to. I picked up three of these and I decided that I was going to review these today because it's been so long since I've done a video for you all. I thought let's do something fresh and new. Snag proof. So let's pull this out. This is called the Zoo, the Zoo series lures that they have. I guess it's tying into throwing them out into a jungle like a zoo animal came from, I think. Anyway, it's not an absolutely new concept. I think it's one that's been tried before, but hopefully this one is implemented better than other manufacturers. There was like a prop fish at one time, I think some company made. It was like a soft bodied fish looking thing with a prop tail that was trying to be like a weedless whopper plopper. And it just never really bit and didn't work for me. Bit, get it, pun intended. There's basically two variations. You've got a stick bait format and you've got a popper format. In the stick bait format, there's a bigger one and a smaller one. I always go with the smaller because I just always do. I don't know why. They're fairly popular. The colors that I wanted in the popper was a black and a white, but they didn't have either of those in stock. So I had to settle for the fish or the bass looking one, which isn't my favorite, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, I just wanted to have something to review and get something in my hand. So here's the bass style popper that they make. And you can see that it's a soft body. And when you push on it, it's going to collapse just like a frog. Now on the back, you have the two hooks that are pronged and kind of turned back towards the body, just like the frog lure is. It's got a nice feathery tail on the backside, and it seems to be made of some pretty robust material. So I don't think you're gonna have problems with that stuff shredding and ripping off. On the belly, you have the weight underneath. So that's gonna be good. It's gonna kind of make the tail sit down in the water. And on the front of this lure, you've got the traditional popper nose, which is gonna help you do the popping. So I don't know if this bait's gonna walk very well. We're not gonna know until we get this in the water, uh, but it seems legit. So I'm gonna have to give this a shot. And let's pull out one of the other ones. The body seems to be similar to the other. What I like about it is they're bendable. Check that out. You can totally bend them around, which makes them really flexible. It might be a whole different game than a frog. That's kind of cool. Didn't even think about that. Uh, it has a little weep hole in the bottom. You can see right here. And it's got the same hooks turned back in. Now, the hooks are a little bit narrow. They're only about three quarters of an inch, maybe five eighths of an inch apart. So I'm a little worried about hook set on this and hookup. But honestly, I think they look pretty decent. Uh, the underbelly of this is painted with some blotchy red. And the quality seems good. The eyes are good. Let's get a close look at the stick bait. Here you've got the stick bait. You've got the eye. It all looks really well built. You can definitely tell that it's it's good quality. It's strong. There's your back hooks, of course your feather, and your body. And like I mentioned, look at this. This thing bends, so it's going to be flexible. It might actually help in the sense that when you're playing and working this fish, reeling it in, and it's fighting you, um, it might take away some of the leverage the fish would normally have with a conventional frog. So. These are definitely worth looking at. They're not terribly expensive. I forget exactly how much they were, but they weren't, you know, any more than a frog. And uh, the hardest thing to do right now is to get them. They seem to be very popular. So if you can get your hands on a couple of these, just buy one, try it and see what you think. Go over to AmericanBaitWorks.com, AmericanBaitWorks.com, and you can go on there and check it out. If you have any questions about these, uh, let me know. And then in, in the future, probably when it's topwater time, probably in another two months, three months, I'm going to be throwing these and testing them on the water. But I wanted to do a quick, you know, walk around review of these lures. And while we're here, let's pull out the black and take a look at it. Ooh, that's nice. So the black body has some silver painting across the top, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, it's just solid jet black on the bottom. So that's what the fish is going to see, the black. But yeah, it's a really good looking lure. Okay, here's the black. And you can see really quality looking lure. The same tail on all of these, I think. I think they just use the same. Uh, it's kind of got a, a, like a blue luminescent color to it. 
but I really like the back of this one, even though the fish don't see the back. So I've always wondered about like color and these baits. Is it really just the belly that matters? But you know, as this thing's moving around and jerking around in the water, I'm sure it'll roll and give a little flash of color. So, so there you have it. The new snag proof zoo series lures in their beauty. Yeah, I think these are going to be good. You guys should uh, definitely check this out um, and try these when it's topwater time. For you southern boys who can already probably throw a little topwater here and there, um, give them a whirl. It's just another look. You know, you're throwing a frog. It's that same pudgy, fat body. Yes, yeah, some frogs walk a little bit, but they've got all the same action. Um, and, and I've always wanted to, when I'm fishing a frog, throw out a spook or a popper and say, man, I wish I didn't have treble hooks to deal with because it would be so good to use that kind of thing right now. Um, that's when these would come in handy. So I'm not sure how effective they're going to be up in the weeds, but they'll be as good as a frog. You can jerk it through the weeds. And once you hit a couple clearing spots, you can work them a little differently and have a different action than a frog. So that's definitely the benefit. And I've seen many lures attempting to try to get these particular type of baits up into weedy and trouble areas. And hopefully these will be a success. I will try these this summer and we'll do another video. You guys take care. It's good to see you and I'll talk to you soon.